Ben Fuchs really needs no introduction here today, but he runs one of the biggest and has run one of the biggest compounding pharmacies uh, in Colorado. He has formulated some of the best-selling worldwide skin products. That's what he's really a total mastermind of. And he's the host of a one-hour show that's very popular on GCN being syndicated across the country. One hour every day before our broadcast. Brightsideben.com is his site. And uh, you can also go there uh, as well and sign up under him with Longevity and get discounts. Or you can go to InfoWarsTeam.com and uh, sign up or InfoWarsHealth.com and get free shipping when you sign up um, for auto ship. And it's got the whole catalog there at InfoWarsTeam.com. But my mother, by the way, during a break, I got to ask you some questions because she, in fact, she gave me the literature and then I forgot it at home. She's always wanting me to get a consultation with you. And then she tells me to ask you the questions, Ben. So I'm going to have to have to uh, sit there and interview you during the breaks as well today. Uh, but uh, Fuchs is a registered pharmacist, nutritionist, cosmetic uh, chemist, and uh, founder of the Econo Co-op Pharmacy and Rocky Mountain Natural Laboratories, pharmacistben.com. And he joins us. This is a short segment. We've got the long segments coming up here today. And I want to get into a host of medical news that's breaking. But first off... I wanted to show you an article out of a salon.com. And it says, Alex Jones, gay marriage truther. The conspiracy theorist said the government is turning people gay through chemical warfare. And what they do is they take out of context that I simply said women are going into puberty now on average at 10 instead of 14, some of them at age three. Women are having, girls are having babies at age seven or eight all over the Western world. Because of the estrogen mimickers in the plastic, I'm going to show a bunch of articles. This is on record. That's why they're actually pulling them out of a lot of things. It's a testament to a wake-up and a big victory. But the third world, they're actually not stopping, and they're having even bigger problems as well. And they said here, you know, that I said that uh, lining and potato chip and juice boxes and things like that, I said bisphenol A, but they just act like I'm ignorant, is, is hyper-feminizing women and, and then feminizing men. Men go into puberty later, smaller genitals uh, on average, uh, lower sperm counts. It's all on record. We're going to go over those documents and articles for the people out there that say this isn't true. All of this is going on. It's killing women. It's directly linked. I had a breast cancer survivor in here, a lady that went to the Supreme Court and you know won that gene patenting case. And she said, absolutely. She knows all the names of it. She says, yeah, it's the estrogen mimickers are one of the biggest reasons this is happening. And they just say in here with no link, this writer says that, that yes, there are uh, estrogen mimickers that leach out of the bags, but there's no evidence that they're harmful to one's health or the government is involved in secret plot to turn the country gay. Really, here's BBC, U.S. military pondered love not war to spray chemicals on enemy armies. The chemicals they found in tests would basically make men be attracted to men. It's pheromone manipulation. It's why a man is attracted to a woman. You add chemicals, you can make a man think, man, why do... You know, why? It, it, I mean, that, that's, a, that's BBC. Okay, and I got hundreds of these articles. But, Ben, it's not about the gay. They want to make it... I don't, I don't get into those issues. I mean, sure, it goes back thousands of years. That stuff's happened before naturally. The point is, is that they're... The side effects is that it's causing sexual confusion, asexuality, and is feminizing men. That's undebatable. And, and you're the pharmacist, the expert. We're going to break. But what do you make of Salon, just as we go out to break in the next two minutes, saying there's no evidence when I'm going to show people hundreds of articles? Well, all you got to do, Alex, and thank you so much for the introduction. All you got to do, Alex, is just do your own research. Go to PubMed.com. Go to ScholarGoogle.com. Google BPA, Benzphenol A, and Gender Bender. Google BPA in breast cancer. Google BPA in infertility. Google uh, BPA in sexual dysfunction. Do your own research. It is voluminous. Thousands, literally thousands of studies show that bisphenol A and estrogen mimickers, what are so-called uh, xenoestrogens, have horrible effects, most especially on sexuality and fertility. But, I mean, how can they attack me all over the news, not just here? They're really scared of us focusing on this. Yes, they're scared, exactly. There's haters everywhere, Alex, but we love you. I wouldn't pay any attention to that nonsense, but you're right. You know, in the tall poppy syndrome, you ever hear the tall poppy syndrome? They cut off the tall poppy in Australia. They say, don't grow too high because they'll cut you off. But that's just the way it is. Alex, we love you. I love you. Thank no, you. No, but, but, I mean, and, and, uh, well, thank you, Pharmacist Ben. We love you guys as well. My point is is that they're demonizing this when they know full well at MSNBC 
and Media Matters and Reuters and national TV shows really continue to attack me on this. When I'm trying to stop breast cancer and testicular cancer, they go and fish out this one comment which is really cold-blooded. Don't they want to warn people? No, they don't. The mainstream media is not our friend. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now, that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com I'm going to get back into what estrogen mimickers in thousands of products, and there's dozens of different types of them or more, are doing to you. So we're going to be breaking all of that coming down uh, that's coming down on us here in just a moment. But first off, I wanted to show you a weekly standard article that's up on DrudgeReport.com. I'm going to have it linked up on Infowars.com as well. 68 senators vote to create incentive for employers to hire immigrants over U.S. citizens, the amnesty immigrants. And I actually saw this on Monday and barely mentioned it. And I should have made a bigger deal about it. I, I saw it in another article. This is out in the news today by John McCormick. That that section got brought up by Senator Sessions. And I went and read the subsection. And it actually says that the legalized illegal aliens that are here illegally, they, you can hire them, what is it, for up to three years, And, and that for a total of 13 years, this will go on. I can't even believe this when I see things like this. It's just like big business. See, I'm actually speechless right now. I, so much just hits me whenever I look at an article, all the data, that it's impossible to tell you how bad it is. The insurance companies wrote Obamacare on record. I just got chills of anger. They wrote Obamacare so they could take away good treatments and so the government could tell you what treatments you can get. And it makes you buy the health care and doubles the premiums already in the first year on record. And it's written to basically bankrupt our health care system. And it's the same thing with this bill. If you cut your employees back to below 30 hours, then you don't have to... Uh, get the health care and most businesses are going to be forced to do this because they can't afford it. We're spending right now more money than we're bringing in because I'm trying to expand and fight the globalist and under this uh, we're still trying to figure out with lawyers and how it's going to be implemented. Nobody knows it's causing certainty all over the country that I'm going to have to let go a bunch of people if, if it goes in the way the White House says it's like or I could cut them back to below 30 hours and, and, and pay them a lower wage. It's just, and then I got to hear how it's great and I'm a racist if I'm not for it. It's like, what does it have to do with it? They just tell the dumb public, he's racist. He doesn't want to fire you. He's racist. It's like, what does it have to do with it? Everything is so dumbed down. I'm going back to Ben Fuchs. I was reading this. Oh, under Obamacare, businesses with over 50 workers that employ American citizens without offering them qualifying health insurance could be subject to fines of up to 3000 per worker, but because newly legalized immigrants would be eligible for subsidies on Obamacare exchanges until they become citizens at least 13 years under the Senate bill, three under a House version I'd seen, businesses could avoid such fines by hiring new immigrants instead. I mean, this is all for big corporations that know how to do this. 
little companies like mine that are actually just trying to you know fight for liberty or restaurants or whatever that don't even know how to do it plus they don't even let you I, I i just and then i'm reading how this expands it and how the two bills go together this has all been planned to ruin everybody I don't know how to explain this to people and it's all unfair because americans put up with everything when the government sees an american they see a chump when the, when sailors 200 years ago saw a right whale that were sweet and playful would come over and bump the boat and bring their babies up the whalers would be like thank you baby and that's us it's like oh here's my baby shoot a harpoon into it that i mean we are the galactic chumpazoids chumpazoids that's a new word i just invented schmuckazoids dupadoids suckazoids twerpadoids idiotoids Failureoids, sickoid. I, I, I'm going to shut up. He's on as a guest. I got Joel Salente coming up. I'm going to give you the floor. And as you talk, I'm going to show mainstream news article after mainstream news article. It makes me angry that they've had MSNBC, White House run Media Matters, and now Salon come out and say there's no danger in estrogen mimickers in your water when it's all on record giving us cancer. I want you to break this down. And I'm going to show literally, it's got to be 50 mainstream news articles and studies to uh, people watching on TV. And then, and then radio listeners, as you said, can just Google, what do they search engine? If you do uh, PubMed.com and you get government studies, but if you do scholar.google.com, you get scientific studies without the advertising. That should be on everybody's desktop. That should be bookmarked by everybody. Scholar.google.com. Uh, PubMed.com is okay as well. I go to scholar.google.com for almost everything. Uh, all my research as, as well as going to the library. And that's really the most important thing, Alex, is we got to do our own research. We cannot get our information from government-sponsored media. MSNBC is not our friends. Fox News is not our friends. The government, uh, the, the uh, mass media is not our friends. We have to do our own research. When it comes to uh, these, uh, these roundups and estrogen mimickers and gly uh, the uh, 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 glyphosates that we're talking about, they are hideous beyond belief. You know, when it comes to Roundup and it comes to these glyphosates, do you know, Alex, you can't even wash the stuff off of your vegetables? It's in the soil and it's in the water so that as the plant is growing, it's incorporated into the plant. And why is that a problem? Oh, little things like infertility, breast cancer, seizures, brain fog, feeling crappy. The fact of the matter is we are biochemical beings. We are biochemical beings at the physical level and we play around, we tweak with our biochemistry at our own peril. The fact that our own government, our own government is sponsoring this kind of poisoning of its people is hideous and scary and evil beyond belief. So what do you do about it? Well, we all have to eat vegetables. We all got to eat fruits. And that's really the, the sneakiest thing of the whole, uh, of the whole uh, uh, scandal is for folks who are eating fast foods, folks who are eating McDonald's and, and French fries and snack foods, that's one thing, okay? They're, they're playing with fire. They know that they, they're going to have a price to pay for doing that. But what about folks who are eating vegetables? What about folks who are practicing good nutrition? Now they have to deal with poisons that are built in, that are embedded into the, into the fruits and the vegetables themselves. Well, what do you do? Well, first of all, you got to eat vegetables, right? So how do you handle this? The most important thing you could do, Alex, in my opinion, is make sure you are reducing the toxic load on your body wherever possible. And job number one, if you are on a prescription drug, and I'm telling you this as a pharmacist, as somebody who's been studying medicine now for going on 30 years, if you are on a prescription drug, you are putting a burden on your body's detoxification system, you are putting a burden on your liver that will then make it much more difficult for your body to process these estrogen mimickers, these gender benders, these roundups and pesticides, not to mention all the stuff that's being spewed out in the air and stuff that's put into our water like fluoride. The second thing you could do is make sure you're using nutritional supplementation, especially supplements that protect your liver, especially supp uh, supplements that help upregulate the detoxification enzymes in your body. Things like selenium, which Dr. Wallach has been talking about for decades. Things like vitamin E. Things like glutathione and glutathione builders, things like glutamine, substances like glycine, there's a whole, vitamin C, there's a whole list. That's of what I wanted to talk about. I want to talk about what it's doing to us and then solutions and not just the incredible souped up products at InfoWarsHealth.com, 
that myself, my wife, my mother, you know, we're all, my dad are having dramatic effects, especially my dad. Looks like he's younger. It's incredible. He looks, looks better than I do. Uh, he, you know, was starting to take things that actually are able to block and even reverse a lot of this just with the normal uh, building blocks. So I want you to tell people if they go to InfoWarsHealth.com or InfoWarsTeam.com or call the toll-free number on the site to ask any questions of our great team, uh, what they should get there to reverse it or what even natural foods uh, will have it. Unfortunately, they're spraying it on there. That's why uh, you guys mine the stuff out of alluvial deposits for the Beyond Dengue Tangerine and things like that so it gets past all the Roundup and uh, fluoride that's soaked into it. But specifically, we know girls worldwide usually went into puberty at 13 to 14. Now the age is you know, 9, 10, 11. Uh, and we hear about you know uh, uh, seven-year-olds having babies now, three-year-olds going into puberty. It's an epidemic. And the media just says, give them other hormones to block it. Don't ask where it's coming from. What's going on? Because the studies I have a stack of are going to be showing to TV viewers. Uh, right here, they admit that it's what's doing it to the girls and that, hey, take it out of the plastics, don't eat this, don't do that. But then the White House and Media Matters, they don't want us to warn women. Well, here's the thing, Alex. All of the things that we're talking about, the chemicals in the food, the prescription drugs, uh, statin drugs, fluoride in the water, all of these things do one, have one important effect on the body. And from that important effect, all of the other effects arise. All of these substances reduce the body's ability to thrive reduce the body's ability to grow, reduce the body's ability to be as great as the human body can be. So estrogen, for example, is a stress hormone. People don't realize this. People hear about estrogen and they think about youth or they think about women, uh, femininity, but really estrogen is a hormone that helps the body handle stressors so that when your estrogen levels go up, your body goes into stress response mode. That means the immune system is suppressed and that means our ability to grow and, and to thrive is suppressed. There's only two things that are happening in the body at any one time. We're either Why is it causing, because I had uh, you know, I had the lady that beat the Supreme Court on the gene patent in her, and she was, she was the real expert going over, oh yes, well this is what the estrogen mimicker does, and it, it does this to the cell and then triggers this genetic trait, but she was explaining there's a bunch of different ways it gives you breast cancer, and, 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 and more scientists believe that's the reason it's exploding. This is the reason why estrogen causes breast cancer. Number one, it causes out of control growth. Estrogen's role in the body, its main role in the body, in addition to being a stress hormone, is to help it grow a baby. So estrogen makes cells divide rapidly, and then estrogen suppresses the immune system. So you've got two factors that combine to give you things like cancer, out of control growth, and suppression of the immune system. Under ordinary circumstances, the immune system will spot a cell that's growing out of control and destroy it. But with estrogen, when estrogen mimickers are in the body or when estrogen levels are high, the immune system is suppressed. And this in combination with estrogen's growth stimulating properties is what accounts for these reproductive cancers. And make no mistake about it, breast cancer is an epidemic and the number one cause of breast cancer is elevations in estrogen and the number one cause of elevations in estrogen is what are called xeno or foreign estrogens from plastics and from foods and from chemicals estrogen is really a family of compounds it's a a basic chemical structure that's found throughout nature and when organic chemists are making plastics and they're making uh, artif artificial chemicals in an organic chemistry kind of way that's right let me just interrupt and put breastcancer.org a big a uh, new study that came out last year, a common plastic chemical BPA is shown to affect breast development in fetal monkeys and in other studies makes the monkeys go into puberty earlier and grow giant breasts and also giant butts, which is exactly what's happening to our women and our boys. But I guess that's okay because I'm anti-gay if I talk about it. Well, you know what? Before, uh, before I go, I want to tell people three easy ways to protect yourself from xenoestrogens. And let me t make no mistake about it, folks. You want to protect yourself from these gender benders. You want, not only do you not want to interface with them if possible, but uh, as I was saying earlier, sometimes you can't pre prevent yourself from interfacing. Yeah, with how them do you detox? In the foods. There's some wonderful ways to detox. One of the simplest things you could do is get yourself on progesterone cream or pregnenolone, both of which have anti-estrogenic properties. Vitamin E is one of the most powerful anti-estrogenic 
substances, and it's nothing more than a simple supplement that you could take. And as I was saying earlier, selenium is a powerful, powerful anti -estrogen Vitamin E, substance. selenium, and progesterone Pre cream for men or women. Oh, men or women, absolutely, and pregnenolone as well. And good nutrition in general is a great strategy. Essential fatty acids, probiotics, get on the nightly essence from longevity, correct digestive issues. If you want to pick one health strategy to increase your longevity and protect yourself from cancer and from xenoestrogens, I can't uh, reinforce this enough, pre uh, taking care of your digestive symptomology. Job number one, if you have any food allergies, intolerances, gluten intolerance, any kind of digestive issue, you're, re you're running higher risks for estrogen toxicity from xenoestrogen, xenoestrogens and pesticides. Look, I don't have some vendetta against the White House run Media Matters, but they're on record run by the transition chief funded by George Soros. They attack constantly on this, and, and, and so does then the so-called liberal media. They're really authoritarians, uh, you know, just camouflaging their authoritarianism with trendy, lisping voices. Why are they so threatened by the fact that I'm exposing that, they're, that, that we're being chemically manipulated Regardless if it's on purpose, which we know it is, they prove it's on purpose that they're that they're demonizing us when we talk about this and desperately trying to get their audience not to do what we're saying. Because, uh, I mean, this is outrageous. I mean, I've yeah. got I don't want my family to die of breast cancer. I, I don't, I don't want to get testicular cancer. I don't want to be able to go, you know, jog five miles and swim a mile and a half and not lose weight because of all the estrogen in the environment. You know, the government afraid of us is a good thing. When the government's afraid of the people, that's when you have liberty. When the people are afraid of the government, that's when you have tyranny. And that's a quote from a, a guy named Barnhill, who was a writer back in the 19th century. So the fact that the government and the power structure is afraid of you, that's a good thing. Keep up the good work. Don't stop. No, but I mean, it just shows how cold-blooded they are. Absolutely. To make a statement that there's no evidence that these chemicals are bad for you, that's a quote. What uh, it is exactly the adjective reptilian exactly you hit the nail right on the head, which means psychopath. Cold blooded is you couldn't have said it better. Alex. But I mean, but I mean, how do you say that there's no evidence that this hurts you when every study, just thousands of articles everywhere, university says it's horrible, and they're even under public pressure pulling it out of a lot of stuff. Lenin said, uh, Lenin said a lie goes halfway around the world before the truth even puts on its shoes. Repeat a lie often enough, and uh, unfortunately, it becomes, uh, it becomes the truth. Yeah, but I mean, how can you do that when you've got families? I mean, how do you sit there yeah. and walk around in the public looking at men, women, and children and not want to tell them, hey, the most plastic containers are going to give you cancer? Uh, and it's not like, I mean, it's like worse than cigarettes in the statistics I've seen. I mean, this is bad. Not people actually are taking prescription drugs that are estrogen voluntarily lining up at the pharmacy to take these substances. What do you think birth control pills are? And by the way, after a woman takes her birth control pills, you know where they end up? In the water supply for all of us to drink. That's right. We are, we're literally swimming in this stuff, Alex. Our bodies, our tissues are being saturated with these kinds of toxins. Oh, and, and Bertrand poisons. Russell in the 20s wrote about it, and H.G. Wells wrote about it in 1900. And uh, Aldous Huxley, part of it, wrote about it. Brave New World. And then in a nonfiction book, bragging they're doing it. We have them bragging. Now we're swimming in it. But we're, we're crazy guys, pharmacists, Ben Fuchs. That's why it's important for us to do the research, to listen to the Alex Jones Show, to listen to the Bright Side, to participate in our own health, to not go to the doctor if you don't, do not need to, to not interface with the medical model if you do not need to, to certainly not eat the corporate swill, to line up at McDonald's. Let's to do it together. Let's do it together. InfoWarsHealth.com, InfoWarsTeam.com, sign up there. Hundreds of products, all there, the lowest prices for longevity. 888-789-9277, 888-789-9277. And sign up to be part of InfoWarsTeam.com. Become a distributor and get big discounts, 888-789-9277. And your purchases support this broadcast, and we need your support now more than ever. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs, I salute you. God bless you, and I want to get you back up in the next week for two hours if you want to do it. God bless you, sir. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV.
You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.